Shalom, y'all, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Call Haloyim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakak, with us for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth, so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. All right? Most highest people, the, the majority of the most highest people fit this category. That word sidish means stupid. Meaning you don't know. Meaning you don't even want to know. All right? Because the information is out there. But it just ain't in you to know. All right, something is something inside of you rejects this information with all your being. All right, and another explanation for it is you love this world a little bit too much. Matter of fact, you love this world, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? And in doing so, you fit in this category. If you haven't gotten the picture, today's um, video is. About the two thirds. How about you know Shara I don't I don't fit that category. And if you're watching this video and you understand what's being said, you don't either. Right? But we cannot ignore what's written in the scripts. Alright, let me go to um the book of Zechariah, chapter 13 of verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two thirds of the most highest people will get put to death. And they'll get put to death because of unbelief. Because if you don't believe in the scripts, that means you're you're doing everything the scripts tells you not to do. Right? And, and that's just being real. Right, um, let me see. Let me go to the book of John. John chapter 8 and, um, verse 43. It says, Why do ye not understand my speech? even because ye cannot hear my word. Right, so it ain't in these individuals to get the understanding. Right, because they don't have the ears to hear or the eyes to see. The Most High didn't give them that. Right, it says, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. All right, so two thirds of the most highest people don't call Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah their father. They call on everything else. Not understanding that the everything else that you calling on is actually Hashatan, it's the devil. It's adverse to the power that created all things. And it's deceiving you. It has you believing that that's the answer to whatever it is you, you, you question him. But not understanding that you're going off. Right? Verse 45 says, And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. All right? So this word has been broken down. It's been broken down. The information is available. But the majority of the Most High's people don't want to hear this. And because the elect of the Most High's people have been telling the, uh, the, the majority of the Most High's people the truth, they don't believe them. Right? 
That might be a different story if the so-called white man said the same thing we were saying, but since they're not, they don't believe it. Right? The majority of the Most High's people believe in this world more so they, than they believe in the word of the Most High. Right? It says, verse 46, Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of power heareth power's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of power or God. All right? The majority of the Most High's people do not hear his word. They walk right on by like ain't nobody even saying that, bro. Don't even lift up a head, turn an eye. None of that. When the word being brought out. All right? And... And the, the the majority of the most high people, the only thing they think about is just having fun, constantly having fun. How can I get more money to have more fun? Right? Ultimately, that's going to lead to your demise. You go to the book of 1 John. Let's see. 1 John chapter 4. And um, verse 5, it says, matter of fact, verse 4, Ye are of power, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. All right? The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is greater than anything this world could offer. All right? But the majority of the most highest people are looking at the shiny things of this world. They're not worrying about a kingdom to come. So they are friends to this world. They listen to the world, but they don't listen to the word. Right? Verse 5 says, They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Right? They can't understand the words of the Most High Yahweh because they're too busy listening to the words of this world that tell you God loves everybody, and God loves the sinner but hates the sin. And, and come as you are. And at the end of the day, all you got to do is say, I believe. I believe that the Messiah died and rose for me. And you good. They too busy listening to lies that they can't hear the truth. And then listening to them lies operating according to this world, you will die. Lest you repent. All right. Now, the Most High told us to be a certain way if we are to operate in this truth. I'm going to go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 13 says, The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. We're supposed to hate the evil way. But the majority of the Most High's people love the evil way. It feels so good to them, man. Right? It sounds so good saying that you're involved in that lifestyle because that's what this world promotes. But Job 9, 24, 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You're really living a wicked life, but you don't know it because you're living it under the guise of something called black or African-American. And seeing as though you're not out there selling drugs and, you know, doing uh, doing all kind of ex extra wickedness, you deem yourself as being an okay person, a good dude or a good girl or a good woman. But in actuality, you really wicked as hell, right? You know what you do. You know the thoughts that enter into your head and you know the life that you live. Even though you may front as though you don't, but you know the truth. In fact, you how about Shimmy How Shy and you know the truth. Right? You know you don't hate the evil way. You know you love it. And you know what the evil way is. But you living in a world that say, Hey man, you sound so old school, you need to let that go, man. This this 2022, you need to move on to the new. That's the spirit of this world telling you to let go of the how about Shimmy Hawa Shai and embrace the beast. Salat one said. Alright, so 
Let me see. We'll go to the book of Michael. Michael chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Yashorala. Is it not for you to know judgment? Right? We're supposed to be better than what we are. Right? We're not supposed to be clinging on to a made-up nationality. Black. African-American. Before, before 1988, so-called black man, there was no such thing as an African-American. The definition of black is everything vile, everything sinister, everything evil and wicked. All right? You better than that. The Most High entrusted you to be the light of the world, the salt of the earth. All right? The rulers of this place. But instead, what you do, you turn around and try to be like everybody else, every other nationality. It's always been there. Right, if you read script, you find that out. It's, that's always been our problem. Trying to be like everybody else instead of hanging on to who we are. Right? Read that again. Michael chapter 3 and verse 1. And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel. Is it not for you to know judgment who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them and flesh from their bones? Right, most people hate to be known as the most high people. You tell us at the average so-called black man, man, you know who you are, you Israel. You know what I'm saying? You God chosen people, and so forth and so on. They look at you like you crazy, man. No, I'm I'm a, I'm black. Mm -mm. I'm African American, and these don't even understand what they say when they say that nonsense. They don't understand that you live in your oppressor's dream by calling yourself an African American or a black. Because as long as you are operating in that mindset, they are always going to be in control of you. Why else do you think we can call ourselves any and everything and get no black? But the moment that you say you God chosen people, the moment that you say you Israel is an issue. You can call yourself a Muslim. You can call yourself a, a, an Egyptian. You can, whatever. All it. No problem, no issue. Still be on TV. Still get your show and all that stuff. But mess around and say you the real Israel. <laughs> yeah. It's a reason for that, man. But our people don't, they don't want to claim it. They pluck off their skin. I ain't an Israelite. I'm black. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Jamaican or whatever the hell. All right. And the most I said, if you if you operating in that mindset, I can't even pray for you. Facts. Only thing I can pray is that most high willing you are of the elect and he wake you up. Other than that, I can't even pray for you. This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah <coughs> chapter 11 and verse 14. Matter of fact, verse 13 says, For according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. The most I just told the people of his that are trying to do what's right, trying to live a righteous life, trying to live a holy life to the best of their ability. Don't pray for these individuals that are worshiping these other gods. 
because they got the same information that you got. They heard the same word that you heard. But instead of them listening, they clinging on to their pseudo powers. Whether that pseudo power be Jesus Christ, whether it be Muhammad, whether it be Buddha, right? Whether it be Amon Ra, whether it be uh, uh, what do you folks say? Uh, the universe. The Messiah told us not to pray for y'all, lad, because you already have been set up to take the fall. Scripture is written for a reason. Can't nobody unwrite what's written. So if it's written that the majority of the most highest people will be deemed as wicked and get put to death, ain't nothing I can do about that. I can try my hardest not to fit into that category, but it ain't nothing I can do about that. That's why the Most High told us, don't pray for these people because they already been marked for death. Let me go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 9, 4. And I know it sound harsh. I know it sound harsh. But this is the most high. This is God. That everybody on earth claim to know and claim to love, but they don't understand. If you really know power, you'll know he's, he's an austere man. He don't play the radio. He's a man of war. I Meaning he always serious. And he'll put you to death. The most high controls good and evil. Straight like that. So if it sound harsh, you need to take that up with the Lord because it is what it is. But this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And Yahweh said unto them, unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So those of us that are trying our best to operate in the spirit of holiness and spirit of righteousness to the best of our ability. We see in this world for what it really is and we don't want no pause of it. Most I said, set a mark on their forehead. Don't touch them. Right? Verse 5, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Most high is not a respect of a person. He don't give a damn if you elderly or infant. If you got if you marked for death, that is what it is. Right? So the most high said. The majority of his people, y'all marked for death, bro. And like I said, most high willing, I'm not in that number. The how about Shimmy How Shah Rajazar? I endure to end and be saved. And if you hearing this, you do the same thing. But facts are facts. Two thirds of the most high's people will be cut off and die. All right? And it's reasoning for it. Just because you Israel, that don't give you a ticket or a pass, right? In fact, that puts you more so in the line of fire because you have been entrusted with more than anybody else. So by you denying that, that's like you spitting in the father's face. And you spitting in the face of a man that's a man of war. He is going to put you to death. All right? Um, let me see. I'm gonna bring out one more script and um, guess that'll be that. Go to the book of James. James chapter 4 and verse 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with power. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of power. 
Our people want to be down with this world so bad. They tell you, stop complaining about your past. Pull yourself up from your bootstraps and go make some of yourself. Our people rightfully do that. Forget about their past. Go chase the bag. And once they make a certain level of success, they look back at their uh, they own people like, y'all niggas ain't shit. Uh, y'all could have did the same thing I did, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, y- y- you ain't, y- y'all lazy and all the other stuff. No. It ain't about chasing the bag, man. It's about chasing who you are. It's about not forgetting your past. All right? Ain't got nothing to do with you being lazy. Ain't got nothing to do with, you know what I'm saying, uh, your, your works or any of that. Ain't got nothing to do with that. It, it was written for the majority of the most highest people to be a certain way and for a remnant of the most highest people to be a certain way. You either fit that category or you don't. It is what it is. Right? So just know, if you extra friendly with this world and this world love you, shit, you 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 might be an enemy of the most high. And you might be marked for death. So we don't want that for ourselves. So watch and pray. Right? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So with that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Ratazah, these precepts in this video with edifying. Call Haloyim Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Harakakodash Shalom Yashalom.